Of course, we've seen a lot of anonymous personnel men, a lot of anonymous general managers saying that this decision by Michael Sam will hurt his draft stock in the upcoming NFL draft. Why do you think they believe it'll hurt his draft stock? Well, because I think they have their their own insecurities and they're projecting that onto Michael. And, you know, they, they think that they can hide behind the word distraction as, as you know, kind of a code word. And, and I, I've said it elsewhere that for, to me, this, this is very similar to Richard Sherman's case where the word thug was used as a code word for something, you know, far uglier. And in this case, the, the word distraction is used by people who, who believe that, you know, they don't want a gay player on their team for whatever reason, but no, they can't come out and say that. So instead they're using the word distraction. I mean, if, if you look at the NFL, the NFL has survived Mike Vick. The NFL has survived Tim Tebow. The NFL has survived Aaron Hernandez. The NFL has survived Riley Cooper. Why is it all of a sudden that, that an openly gay player is going to be this huge distraction that brings the NFL to its knees? You know, that, that's ludicrous. Do you think teams will pass on him simply because he's gay? Uh, I think there are teams that will, and, and I think it's it's a, a horrible thing, but I think that's also the reality of our situation. And unfortunately, you know, there there are going to be people who don't get it right now because progress is, is a slow march. Um, we've made a lot of strides, but there's still a lot more to go. But the thing is, is in the NFL, you really only need one team to love you. And, you know, it's it's heartening hearing owners like Robert Kraft and, and Ziggy Wolf and others saying, you know what? If if he can play, if he can help this team, then you know we're we're committed to making sure that it's an environment that welcomes him. You were an activist during your playing career, Chris. Uh, Michael Sam's made it clear he does not want, nor does he intend to be an activist. How do you think that's going to affect how he's accepted and how he's welcomed in next season? Uh, I, I think it'll be good for him because you know that that's probably one of the primary concerns for teams is is that. You know, is, is he focused on playing football? Is he focused on doing something else? Completely disregarding the fact that you can be focused on playing football while also doing something else in your private time. But you know, that's neither, neither here nor there. Um, I, I think he's showing that right now with with coming out with this news before the draft. You know, giving giving people a chance to talk it over, go through the media cycle, and then hopefully it fades away. And yeah, there will be some stories about it during OTAs, during preseason and training camp, but. You know, the story should be, here is Michael Sam, who is the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. You know, is he going to make a team or not because of his football skills? Hopefully not because of his sexuality.